Welcome to your weekly love tarot forecast, where you can get insights of romance delivered at the convenience of your smartphone or YouTube browser desktop. This is the Peace Dealer, and this horoscope is for the 16th of December. Now, as I was pulling the underlying theme, this card on the top came up. We have the Queen of Swords. This is a Libra woman. This is approaching you above all to address any such concerns romantically in an objective, straightforward way. But seeing that it's coming with the King of Pentacles, this does seem to be the meaning of minds between two established individuals. The Queen of Swords is definitely cutthroat when it comes to getting her point across. And so you equally don't want to willy -wa uh, dilly dally or, or be wishy washy when it comes to what you want and what you expect. Although you never want to have unhealthy expectations because you'll disappoint yourself. Other than that, this really could imp represent an influence of someone who may either give you advice or you may bump uglies. With. I mean, uh, have romantic interactions with. With that said, let's get to the spread. So we, so we do have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. For a love reading, this is amazing. Clearly, the Emperor is the Knight, and the Ace is coming from the Nine of Pentacles. Can I just remark on how magical Tarot is? Because when you see this, you realistically should think, okay, the Peace Dealer didn't shuffle these cards. He handpicked these cards. Because there's no way that I can shuffle a deck of 78 cards and it comes out in such a story-like fashion without there being some type of magic in play. But other than that, we have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. I mean, this is in your goddamn face. This is new love. This is actually encouraging you to, to, to show your moves, okay? Be heart-centered. Be romantic, okay? Romance is literally the name of the game this week. And your only challenge is to accept new love in its purest form. Coming from this Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Um, also really good financially. You know, some of you may be coming into independent money. But I see this as really the relationship between this Emperor and Nine of Pentacles. Once again, two very established individuals. What are the odds that the masculine figure would symmetrically align with the feminine figure here too? What's going on? Oh my God. So this is founded on very great bliss. Both of you have amazing compatibility together. And the foundation, sorry, the crown is this. The foundation is hard work. Both of you are willing to put in the work. So, you know, if you're watching this, don't be shy. If there's someone you have a crush on, if there's someone you seriously want to be romantically involved with, don't wait for this to fall on your lap because I get the sense that for many of you, um, this is going to happen for you. If you're a masculine, if you're a divine masculine, if you're masculine ruled, you want to definitely uh, make that first move. And if you're feminine, you may receive that first move. It, it does seem like this is happening from the masculine to the femme. So keep that in mind. The three of swords and the tower is this happening and being predicated um, on certain recent heartbreaks, certain sacrifices. This is actually not a bad card. It just kind of indicates the sudden nature of this. And the guidance with temperance is to allow the differences between you two to create a cohesive whole. This is actually another soulmate card, low key, because it talks about bringing in differences, of course, to moderate and balance. So keep that in mind. What this means really is that no matter how sprung or emotional you may feel, try your best, no, do your best to make sure that there is somewhat of a friendship aspect. Develop the friendship more than the romance uh, as this will build the romance. And I mean, we do have the Page of Swords. So there is some sort of alertness to the truth. As you are busy at work, someone is watching you and they definitely have the host for you. So keep that in mind. This week is very promising for authentic and new, fresh love. 
With that being said, I do have my love tarot readings available. I pull significator cards. If you don't know your soulmate, I will pull a card saying, this is your soulmate. Another card indicating the energy between y'all and another card indicating your feelings towards them. I will pull a Celtic cross spread. I'll pull a horseshoe spread and I will pull three Oracle cards from this Oracle card deck. Okay, totally worth it. Everyone who's ordered so far has given me great feedback on how accurate it is. You know me. If you if you've been watching me, you know my readings. But regardless, for Sunday, we do have listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. Monday, we have physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. Tuesday, we have look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. This is true. Wednesday, we have focus on love. Look at the good attributes in each and every person in your life, including that stinker you don't like. Thursday, we have I love you. I love you. These are very important words. Friday. We have appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. And finally, Saturday. Be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. Very grounded. Very amazing. We end this week with an eclipse in Cancer and Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And until next week, stay breathing. Peace.